Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, we're going to look at ways to identify and explain unexpected trends in Google Analytics. With the spread of COVID-19 around the world, you might be seeing changes in your data as your audience behavior changes. The techniques we explore will help you to establish if the changes you are seeing are unique to your organization or if they're part of a wider trend, for example, in your industry or area of specialization. To do this, we're going to use Google Analytics, Google Trends, and Google Sheets. Let's get started. Okay, so we need to start by looking at the trends we can find in Google Analytics. I'm using Google's demo account, and we're currently looking at the Home Report, which provides a top-level snapshot for the website. We can see at the top of the report that there is a downward trend for the last 30 days. This tells us there has been a 20% drop in users. If you feel there might have been an increase or decrease from a particular date, then you can also adjust the chart. For example, we can select the default date range, select Custom, and then enter a start and end date. We can see the graph updates, and we can check the trend for the key metrics along the top. Now let's head to another report. Let's select Audience and Overview. At the top of the report, we can see the overall user trend. Each point on the chart shows us the number of users for an individual day. Sometimes the trend will be clear, and other times it won't be. Let's start by changing the date range. Let's select the current date range and change this to the 2nd of February to the 28th of March. I'm selecting this date range because we're going to graph the trend by week and we want to start on a Saturday and end on a Sunday so that the chart includes complete data for each week. Now let's click Apply. Now we can see there is a pretty clear drop in the number of users from the 13th of March. If you don't see a clear trend, then I recommend selecting the week option for the graph. This might make it easier to pinpoint the overall trend for the date range. So let's select week. Now we can again see there is a drop for the last three weeks in the date range. Okay, I'm going to select day. And now I'm going to adjust our date range again. I'm going to select the date range and select the 13th of March to the 28th of March. And I'm also going to select Compare to Previous Period and then Apply. We can now see a comparison for the date range experiencing the drop in traffic to the period before the decrease. You can also use the Compare to Previous Year option to further verify the trend. To do this, we select the date range again, then select Previous Year for the comparison, and click Apply. We can now see that the trend is also a drop when compared to the previous year. Before we move on, I also want to mention that depending on your website and your offering, you might have seen an increase in traffic. For example, if you sell an in-demand product or service. So also keep an eye out for an increase in your reports. Okay, now it's time to check that the trend we're seeing isn't isolated to our own website and business. To do this, we're going to head to Google Trends. What we need to do now is research general trends for our industry to see if the trend we saw in Google Analytics is for our whole industry or not. Since we used the Google Demo account, and this account is for the Google Merchandise Store, this means we're going to have to be slightly more precise with our research. When researching trends for your own business, I recommend trying to be as broad as possible. For example, if you're a real estate agent, then I would search for real estate in Google Trends. For the Google Demo account, I'm going to enter Google Merchandise and select Search Term. We can now see the trend for this search term. We can also see there is a drop in interest for the search term. OK, so let's start by selecting United States and change this to Worldwide to view the global trend. And let's also change the date range. I'm going to select Past 12 Months 
and change this to past 90 days. We can see that it looks like there might be a decrease, but it's a little difficult to tell. I'm going to pull this data into Google Sheets to check. To do this, I'm going to click the download icon. Now I can head to Google Sheets. I'm going to upload the file that I just downloaded from Google Trends. And let's open the spreadsheet. I'm going to create a sum for the same date range as we looked at in Google Analytics. So I'm going to compare the 13th of March to the 28th of March to the same number of previous days. To do this, I can enter equals, sum, open bracket, and then enter the range of B74 to B89. And then select another cell, and enter equals, sum, open bracket, and then B58 to B73. And we can now calculate the percentage decrease. Let's select another cell and enter equals sum open bracket open bracket E89 minus D89 divided by E89 times 100. we can now see the percentage decrease between the two date ranges. Now the decrease isn't exactly the same as what we saw in Google Analytics, but it's pretty close. This helps to support the idea that the trend we saw in Google Analytics might be impacted by external factors. You may also want to add a graph to your spreadsheet. To do this, select the data for your desired date range, and then choose Explore. This lets you quickly add a graph to your spreadsheet. You can even customise the graph. For example, you can change it to a smooth line chart. And even add a trend line. Before we wrap up, I want to show you one more thing. Let's head back to Google Trends. Let's select our existing search term and change this to coronavirus. We can now see the trend for this search term, and we can clearly see that there is a definite spike around the 12th of March, which is in line with the decline in traffic we saw in Google Analytics. Now it's time for you to head to Google Analytics and Google Trends to see what's happening for your organisation. So there are some of the different techniques you can use to explain unexpected trends in Google Analytics. I hope you find them helpful. Remember that the way your audience is behaving will impact how many people visit your website, engage with you and convert. Since people are behaving differently worldwide due to the spread of COVID-19, you are likely to see unexpected trends. What trends are you seeing? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.